Hey guys, so today I have for you a great ab circuit workout that I wanted to do. My first video of 2013, first workout of 2013, so it's about six minutes long. It's different exercise that we're going to do for 30 seconds and it's really going to hit your core and there's some cardio thrown in there as well. Um, and this is just a great video that you can do on its own if you just want to do a quick ab workout or you can do it at the end of any other workout that you do to really target your core. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna set my Tabata interval timer so that we know when the 30 seconds are. All right, so let's start. We're gonna start with a reverse crunch, okay? So bring your head, your hands by your ears and then bring your knees to your elbows. And we're just gonna do this for about 30 seconds. And really bring it in just still kind of you know warming up so you can take it easy and just keep crunching along so hopefully the beginning of your new year is going okay this is a great way to start it off though don't you think really just focusing on your core and bringing up the sweat we're gonna switch now we're going into a side plank with a T so get into side plank mode you're gonna reach down under and then come back up. So we're gonna do this only for 15 seconds and then we're gonna switch sides. So again, first round, you can take it a little bit slower than we will in the second round once we know what the exercises are and we're a little bit warmed up. So let's switch sides. And reach up. And you should feel this in the sides of your abs, so all up in here. Okay? And switching, going right into mountain climbers. All right, so get into plank position, hips low to the ground, and go into mountain climbers. And again, we're just doing this for 30 seconds. It's the cardio component of this circuit. So get your heartbeat rising, burn some calories while also working on your core at the same time. So we got about 10 seconds left. Keep your hips low. Break them out. And remember to breathe. Always remember to breathe. Okay, so next we're going into twists. So we're gonna do this for 30 seconds. Lean back, cross your hands, and then twist. So you don't wanna twist your spine or your back. You wanna keep your back nice and tall, good posture, but just keep moving your hands. And this works as resistance for your obliques. So you're really working hard. If you want to make it harder, lean back more. Or lift your feet up. If you want to make it easier, put your feet down and sit back up more. But the whole time, just keep in mind that you want to have good posture. Okay, we got two more seconds and done. The last cardio component, get back into plank mode and we're going to do some jumping jacks in this position. Okay, so hips low to the ground again. And again, yeah, basically just jumping jacks on the floor. Doing some cardio and working your core all at the same time. What more could you ask for? So keep it up. Your heart rate should be going. I'm getting a little out of breath. And then last but not least, 30 second plank, okay? So get into plank position. Shoulders over the elbows hips low, your body should be one straight line. If I were to, to put like a rod on there, it should be balanced. And just hold it here. Sorry, I can't talk too much when I'm holding plane. But just go to your happy place and remember to breathe. And keep one straight line. Whew. Done with the first circuit. Let's take a 30 second breather and then we're gonna do it again. Take a round two. So you hopefully caught your breath. Let's go right into 30 seconds of reverse crunch. So now you know the exercises. You're warmed up. Your heart rate is up. Everything. Let's make sure that we give it our all. Give it 100% effort 
and really focus on the movements, but try to make them challenging by going faster than we did in the first round, okay? It's only 30 seconds. You can do anything for 30 seconds. And switch, side plank with a T. So side plank mode and up. So only 15 seconds here before we switch. Again, this is really working your obliques. You should feel it on the inside oblique of whatever side you're doing. And switch. And 15 seconds here. Good. Mountain climbers. Get into position. Um, shoulders right over the wrist, the elbows off the line, and then crank them out. Back as you can. Hips low to the ground. Spine and back are straight. Really focus on bringing your heart rate up. Two more seconds. Good. And next we got our twists. So again, through posture, so that nice and tall, and twist with your arms, not with your spine. Again, so it's more challenging with your legs up. And this is working your whole core all around, your obliques, and basically everything in the lower back too. This is a great core exercise, and if you want to add resistance with dumbbells or a medicine ball, it makes it even better. So keep it up. And switch. Last cardio sequence, plank jacks. Okay, remember, shoulders right over the elbows. Hips low, crank them out. Jumping jacks on the floor. Cardio and core at the same time. Remember, it's only 30 seconds. Just breathe, you can do anything for 30 seconds at a time. Last but not least, a 30 second plank. Okay, this is our last exercise. Just remember to breathe and keep everything in a straight line. And start. Deep breaths, guys. Last 30 seconds. Hips low. Five seconds. Oh. And we're done. Great job, guys. That was a tough ab circuit. I'm out of breath, so I know you are too. But that is abs, lower back, cardio. What more could you ask for? Again, you can do this on its own to really do an abs workout whenever you feel like it or add it into your daily workouts at the end of a workout and just really crank it out and focus on your core. Core is so important for things like lifting, running, cycling, whatever it is that you like to do, core strength is always a key factor. So remember to really focus on that. Whew. Hope you guys are as out of breath and sweaty as I am. And I really hope that 2013 is a great year for us. Great job, guys.